What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-host, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing? Hey, good to see you again. Hey guys, how's everybody? Yes, yes. Today is a great day. I agreed to talk a little sports today. So, man, I'm I'm super excited. Um, we have an outstanding guest that literally has stats or sports stats for days, months, years, and decades. Uh, without further ado, Julie, do you mind introducing today's guest? So, really, really excited about today's guest. And in fact, I have a teenager, and y'all know how teenagers are. He was over the moon that we have today's <laughs> guest. He was like, Mom, this is going to be the chief chat I actually watch. So today's actually guest- Actually watch. Actually yeah. watch, yes. <laughs> Out of the 60 episodes we've done, this guy has captured my son's heart. So our guest today is a former- mathematics professor and he turned his love of numbers and statistics into an extremely popular baseball website called baseballreference.com please join me in welcoming sean foreman hey sean, 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 sean. welcome 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 sean thanks so much for taking time out to join us and for everybody watching drop a note in the comments let us know where you're watching from or if you have any questions for sean We'll be reading those live throughout the broadcast. Now's a good time to start your watch party and enjoy this live interview with your friends. And if you're not already following us, you should. So you'll know who's coming up next on Chief Chat. We have great guests lined up, just like Sean. Awesome, awesome, Sean. And uh, we're super excited to have you today. Uh, even more excited than Julie's son, I can say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but hopefully we'll, we'll uh, win him over so he can look at some more podcasts. Uh, so but before we get started, where are you joining us from today and how have you been surviving all this time at home? So uh, I'm at my home in Philadelphia, Sports References, primarily located in Philadelphia. I, we're doing OK. We, um, you know, we're ha happy that sports are back and uh, we're, we're, we have something to watch on TV now. Uh, I, I joke that we're mostly computer programmers, so whether we're probably happier uh, being at home and having to talk over Slack than, uh, than talking in person. So it's it's been going pretty well for us overall. So we, we feel blessed that way. My family is so excited that sports are back. And I have to tell you, we are huge, huge baseball fans. And seriously, my son, I was like, hey, we're going to talk to the creator of baseballreference.com. I'm like, do you know what that is? He's like, mom, I've used it since I was seven. My husband says he, <laughs> he's 17. My husband says that he uses the site every single day. So can you tell us for those people who aren't familiar, what is baseballreference.com? What are your other sites? And how do people who aren't familiar with the site, just tell us a little bit more about what you do sure sure we um so i for a non-sports fan the way i usually explain it is we're like imdb if you're a movie fan imdb which lists all the all the actors and directors we, we're like that but for sports so we you know for instance tom siever who passed away yesterday um we have literally the outcome of every batter he ever faced in his entire major league career so we have box scores wow. going back to 1901 we have a wow. uh, complete player and, and team stats for uh, for every player who's ever played and then you know as you go forward we get even even more detailed and, and can tell you you know sequence of pitches for for at bats and things like that so it's you know we, we try to put a friendly face on it so that it's easier to use it's not overwhelming but you know we, we have just millions and millions of pages of, of basically baseball information Information that people can can take and use and and I, I like to say that um, you know people like to art, like to pretend they're the manager or the general manager so we give you all the information mm -hmm. that those mm -hmm. those people would have as well so you can you know you can try try and say I would have done this in this in this situation uh, and, and and argue about that probably probably more often than not um, we also have basketball and football and hockey and a soccer site as well um, and some college sites so it's we, we've got a pretty wide coverage across all of North American sports. That's awesome because uh, I have this very, very competitive uh, text message group of friends okay. that we always try to prove each other wrong and we're always trying to uh, say <laughs> one team's better than the other team and none of us really know anything really. So now that I know that you have this, this site, I can actually pull some stats and actually uh, help my argument. That's right. Money. You can, yeah, you can, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll win all the argument. You can shut down all the arguments now with, uh, with facts. So we, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, we get used a lot by that, a lot, lot for that sort of thing. <laughs> 
Wow. And how did you come up with the idea for this site? How long was it before it started gaining attention? So we, uh, so I launched the baseball site in 2020. I was a graduate student at the time and was trying to avoid doing my dissertation. And so I uh, created this on the side and it was, it was basically a side project, something I did nights and weekends uh, for the first six years. Uh, and then I was able to quit my job and, and we've slowly grown from two initial employees up to 11 employees now uh, full time. Wow. Yeah, so that, that's a good segue. Um, so for those that don't know, you were a math professor at St. John mm -hmm. Joseph St. Joseph's University right. there in Philly. Um, what made you decided, you know what, I'm going to walk away from this, you know, this, this, this job that is pretty safe and secure to right. do uh, baseball stats full time? Yeah, I, I had just gotten tenure, actually, and my, uh, my father in law, who, who had, who had, uh, who, who was a professor at various places got, I think probably thought it was a little insane to, to do it at that point. But I, uh, I, I was, you know, it was, it was clear that I was making enough money to, at, at that point to, to, you know, for, to support, you know, provide my support to the family. My wife was, uh, was working as a math professor as well. Uh, and so, you know, it just seemed like something that was a natural thing uh, to do. It kind of, you know, it'd been very gradual. It, it's, you know, I very much believe the, you know, the, the saying that overnight success takes about 12 years. So it was, you know, we grew very conservatively and, 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 uh, and steadily. And it's, you know, I've been lucky to be able to do this, you know, full time for the last 14 years. I, every day I enjoy, uh, enjoy going to work and thinking about what we're going to do. Yeah. That's awesome that you kind of followed your passion, uh, to, to, to do. And so now it's, now it's not work. It's pretty much, it's what you enjoy doing. And so it, it makes it a lot easier to, to, to manage on a daily basis. Yeah, my, my wife would tell you that I spend pretty much every waking hour thinking about stuff like this. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's sometimes sometimes it's a curse, but most of the times it's a blessing. So, so it, are you are you a fan of baseball? I mean, that seems kind of like a silly question, but I'm assuming right. you must be a fan if you're this immersed in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've always been interested in statistics. My father was a high school football coach. And so I can remember back even as early as like third grade, he would bring the stat book home after after games and the two of us would go over it and kind of add things up and compile the stats, uh, you know, as a, as a nine year old and, and it just, you know, continued collected baseball cards was very into fan, fantasy sports as well trying to analyze that. And I play, played as well. I, I, you know, grew up in a very small town in Western Iowa. So I was able to play football and basketball and baseball. And, and so, yeah, I've always, always enjoyed sports, always watched it very closely and always, always wanted to keep track of the stats. Oh, and man, I'll, you, oh, oh, go ahead. You know, I'm, I'm glad you brought up uh, fantasy football league. Cause I, I you know, my, my friend, chief Mark Jenkins out there, he just signed me up for this fantasy football league. And, and now that you, I, I'm aware of your site, man, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. <laughs> sounds, sounds good yeah we, we, have, we have stuff yeah yeah look for look for our fantasy section we definitely have one of those on the football site awesome so i have a question from you that's actually from my 17 year old um he wants to know what individual stat do you think best evaluates a batter's hitting ability um so i would pro probably the simplest to understand and and it would be ops which is on base plus slugging uh so you know the batter's jobs are to get on base and to bat bat, bat runners around and so it combines those two things so I, I suspect he probably is aware of that one and knows yes well. and so he told me he thought that you were going to say offensive war and so he actually agrees with you that it's ops plus so but he thought that there'd be a 75 okay. percent chance that you would it, say offensive war your son so. is pretty astute because OPS <laughs> plus takes that and then also accounts for like the ballpark that the team plays in yes so it's, yeah so he's he's he seems like a pretty sharp guy. Hey, hey Julie, yeah. your son might have a job here in, in yeah, That's right. That's right. We do have summer internships. So yeah. He want, he was like, surely he doesn't do this himself, mom. He must have a team. He's like, maybe I can come work there. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I'm just doing a chief right. chat. Like I'm not hustling. <laughs> but so Sounds yeah, good. you probably just made his day with your answer. That's great. That's great. So so as you know, we have uh, soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, and Coasties, and mil military families are watching. Uh, what words of inspiration or thanks do you have for all our heroes out there? Well, it's obviously an honor to me to be talking to you and to, and to talk uh, directly to them. We, um, you know, one of the things that we've been able to do on our site, as you know, there are many ball players who served served our country uh, in previous wars. And so every Veterans Day, we actually add a, add a poppy to their to their page to commemorate those players. Uh, you know 
not only in baseball, but also in football. So, you know, Ted, if you go to Ted Williams or, or Willie Mays uh, on those days, you know, you'll see a poppy uh, commemorating their service. on. on oh, man, that is, that is wonderful. Great. That is very cool. I'll have to check that out this November. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. it was it was it was fun to put that together. It was uh, you know we like to we we are a stat site, but we do like to have touches like that. That uh, you know that that kind of uh, you know you know we're, we're fans of the sport, so we, we like to you know promote it and, and and see people learn about it as well. Sean, so you mentioned that this started out as a side gig and that you grew, um, you know, conservatively. So did you ever imagine that so many media organizations and broadcasters would rely on your site? I mean, that's got to be pretty flattering, right? Yeah, it, it, it is. We, uh, you know, I certainly never, never expected that. I, I um, you know, I, I, I joke my, my, um, my, my parents really kind of wondered what I was doing and why I was doing this, this whole thing. And, and, and it really, they didn't become legitimate for them until they heard a, uh, a Yankees broadcaster mention the site on air, I think. And they thought, Oh, you know, maybe this actually, there's something to this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, every, I, I, hopefully it's a testament that we're, we're a useful site that people find, can find what they want on our site. Uh, you know, we're always, we, all the good ideas we've had are ones that users have sent us and ideas that they've sent us. So we try to be very responsive to them. And, and so having those people, you know, mention the site and cite us on air is, is obviously a big, uh, you know, is very gratifying and kind of, I think, shows us that we're on the right way in that regard. Yeah. And uh, so you got seven different sports websites is what, what, right. what I hear. Um, and I think you told us how many employees, if you could tell us how many, how many employees minus Julie's, uh, son uh <laughs> and where where are the offices located uh for your for your sports website right so we um so we have 11 full-time employees um and most of the people are located here in philly uh you know we have we actually lease an office in an old church uh which is two blocks from my house so it's it's uh, we have the whole third floor and have sports posters and all that uh, up there and it's i I'm, I'm missing it at this time but you know, we'll get back there eventually but um, yeah, we have seven sites and, and uh, it's, you know, it's a group effort. Everybody, we have many computer develop, you know, software developers, but also social media and, and all that kind of stuff. So it all comes together to, uh, you know, to, to put out what we, what we have every day. So you mentioned that you're in Philly, which is the home of America's game, the Army Navy mm -hmm. game. Right, right. What? So it, who do you, who do you like? I mean, I know the season hasn't I, started, oh. but are you going, are you <laughs> oh, going Army, go Navy? Who do you like? I, <laughs> So I, 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 ha I have to go, I have to back Navy because my brother was, uh, worked in sports information for the Naval Academy uh, for a number of years. Yeah. And, you know, I think he left there about seven years ago. So I, I'd actually had the, uh, had the good fortune. He got me tickets one year. So uh, my dad and I went to the game and, and uh, we were, were able to see the game, uh, which was, which was a big thrill. It's, it's, uh, Best so game I, ever. I, I, I have, yeah, I have to, I have to back Navy in that, in that regard. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to hang up now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what is the, what, what's ahead for sports reference? Um, where do you see this going in 10 years from now? And what about an app? Are, are you working on developing an app? So I have people in my house who, who really want to know. Good. about I, it. You know, we, I, I we get that question a lot. I, I, um, you know, we're probably once, once we make a few more hires, that's something that we've discussed, you know, doing it's, uh, you know, there are just various technical reasons that, that make it a challenge a little bit, but, uh, you know, I, I, I will say our sites do work pretty well on a phone. And so, you know, hopefully that, that gets you 90% of, of, of the uh, way you want to go. Um, I'd say other things, you know, we're really focused on, um, we, our soccer sites relatively new. So in soccer, you know, international, you have, you know, people stationed all over the world, you know, that soccer is huge all over the world. And so we, um, you know, we're, we're trying to cover as much of that as we can and translate it into additional languages. And so it's, that, that's kind of our next big growth thing, I think, but we're always working, all of our sites, we're always working to improve them, always working to make them a little bit better. And, and uh, you know, I don't think that will, uh, you know, that'll end anytime soon. Excellent. So I have a confession to make y'all. Uh, once upon a time, I was a very nerdy math girl and I even pondered, <laughs> I thought about majoring in math in college, but um, when I would, you know, talk to advisors and things like that, they would say, well, if you don't want to teach, then math probably isn't for you. I mean, the majority of math jobs are teaching. 
And so I'm like, mm, I don't, I want to just do math. I don't want to teach it. I just want to do it. So anyway, I'm really like excited and worked up about this hearing about all the math I, and all, all the number crunching and stuff that goes into this. So I, anyway. you know, that's interesting. Cause I, I, when I was in high school, I, you know, math was my number one uh, subject by, by a pretty wide margin. I, I, I thought either, either a teacher or an engineer was the other thing that I thought, you know, was. so I, I actually, I'm an engineering school dropout uh, because I, I tried it, didn't like it. And, and yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I think most math teachers now might tell you there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. And I certainly think that's, that's true. So, you know, I think if, if you're a young person interested in math, I, I would say go for it. It's, you know, there, there are a lot of opportunities out there, I would say. I agree. And we do have some questions coming in on our live feed. So Ryan says, who is your favorite player ever? Uh, I'm so I'm going to date myself here. I'm 48 years old. Ricky Henderson uh, is my favorite player of all time. He, uh, you Oakland know, I, Athletics. Of, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oakland Athletics, 130 steals, I think, in in one season, uh, probably more than the entire league is going to have this year, at least uh, with the abbreviated season. I, um, you know, one of the things people talk about is that uh, sabermetrics, the analysis of baseball stats, uh, kind of has changed how the game's being played, and all the teams now have multiple people crunching the numbers in their front offices. I, I, I have to say, I'm a little, I'm a little bit sad. I feel a little bit responsible that there are not more stolen bases because uh, you know the numbers kind of say it's not a great play, you know, all the time. But it sure is a lot of fun to watch, and I wish we had more mm -hmm. of those uh, going on in the game now. Good. We did have a question about sabermetrics, so I'm glad okay. that you, glad that you touched on that. Um, I think that's it from the feed that I see. Uh, can you remind us where can we find you on social media? Sure. So uh, sports. So sportsreference.com is our site. We have links to. We have different Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts for all of our sites. Uh, we're not quite as active on Instagram, but we're actually discussing that this morning. Um, I'm personally at uh, Sean underscore Foreman uh, on Twitter, uh, and yeah, I'm happy, happy to connect with uh, with listeners and, and answer any questions that might come up from people or, or just talk baseball. So anytime. That's awesome, man. Awesome. Well, you're probably going to get a DM from Julie's son. Definitely. <laughs> uh, sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Who's your Who's your team? Do you follow the Phillies or who do you? Uh, I do follow the Phillies. We so we in our office we uh, we have season tickets to both the Sixers and the Phillies that we share. Uh, we have this very complicated draft system that you earn points and can get draft picks for different tickets and stuff. That obviously you know we, we created because that's what we do. Um, <laughs> that's but, so funny. I, so I I, I was awesome. I grew up for some reason I grew up a Red Sox fan. I have no re, I have no idea why. I grew up in Iowa. Uh, that's just who I latched on to, but so I, uh, more Red Sox fan, Phillies fan, uh, definitely a big Sixers fan as well, and, and kind of getting into soccer as well. So a few, few teams in Europe that I follow. And that's great to have pro sports right there. I also grew up in right. the Midwest where we did not have pro sports. We had, um, you know, triple A baseball. And if you wanted right. to see professional sports, you had to go to Kansas city. Um, I grew up right. in Omaha. So in the Midwest. Okay. So it's, All right. So I, I was, yeah. So I was yeah. in 90 miles from Omaha. So I, Town I grew up in uh, was uh, 90 miles from Omaha, Des Moines, Sioux City. So equally inconvenient to all of those places. And then so, yeah, my, minor league baseball was an hour and a half away. So yeah. yeah. Man, so I, I understand and appreciate living in a city that has professional sports and yeah, all of the opportunities that affords. So yeah. and yeah, way I'm to assimilate and join the home team there in Philly. That's good. That's good. I, I did the same thing. I, so. I, <laughs> I, I've been here 20 years now and, and my kids were all, were both born here. And so they're, they're Philadelphians through and through. So I yeah, figured we might as well get on to it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Sean, uh, thank you so much for sharing your uh, fascinating story with us. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome to talk a little sports and, uh, you know, I, I definitely have a reference now, so I'm, I'm coming for that league right. that I'm going in. Um, and, America's uh, soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, Coasties, man, they just really, really appreciate uh, what you do and how much you support the military. Um, we like wish you all the best. And if you, if you could hang on for a second, um, I normally uh, stay back after the podcast to get some information from you. Of course, absolutely. But thank you so much absolutely. for uh, sharing some time with us uh, and, and thanks for what you do. Yeah, and th thank you and thank you to all your listeners. Thanks. Awesome. All right, Sean. Bye, guys. Cute chat out.